that's me, a black baby born into a middle-class family in Cleveland, Ohio. My mom and dad, both school teachers, taught me everything I know. I became a cheerleader and the class valedictorian in my mostly white high school. And yet, always were the taunts. You think you cute. Why do you talk so white? Why do you study so hard? You think you're not black? But as my mom told me, honey, you'll be black till the day you die. But to this day, I hear the taunts. She's so bougie. She is just not black enough. But who decides the criteria for blackness? Indeed, are there any? And why do we as a race insist on pulling ourselves down instead of helping each other break the cycle of poverty and prejudice against ourselves? Because in order for white on black prejudice to change anytime soon, black on black prejudice must change first and in a hurry. And so I made this movie to ask the question, who is black enough? I have two daughters, now 34 and 32. They're lovely. And one of them looks white. Their mother is a white woman. And my father looked white. So, and I happen to know, since we've analyzed their DNA, that they're 75% European. Because my father was over 50% European. I'm 50% European in my genome. So, you know. So my little girl comes to me and she says, Daddy, what do I say to people who say I'm not black enough? And I looked at her and I said, well, you, there's something you should tell them. She said, what? I said, tell them, kiss your black ass. Sometimes I think I'm too black. And how is that possible? It's not possible. I mean, I'm, I'm black as I'm supposed to be. I never understood being held back. Cause I can hit anything that I aim at. Believe in oneself and make them stand back When crazy people try to tell me that I don't match Or I don't measure up to what I'm looking like No, because I'm well educated and highly articulate I don't fit in with the clique, but tell me then Cause I don't get it And I won Miss America as a black woman But then there were a big contingency of people that said Well, she's not black, she's not black enough She's got light eyes, of course they picked her What is authentically black? Either we're African or we're not And I mean either we're authentic or we're not Oh, well, she needs to get more soul. Well, why does she listen to this? Well, why does she like all those white folks? Why does she Why does she want to sing like those white folks? I'm not trying to sing like anybody. I'm trying to sing like me. The subject, or the title, not black enough, and that subject of blackness um, is something that, within the black community, is laughed about, joked about, held, you know, in a secret space, you don't talk about it. But to have an open dialogue, you know, it creates a space where there are a lot of feelings that are gonna come up. This kind of thinking is deleterious to the progress of our people. We're all black, we're all in the same camp, and we need to figure out ways to help each other collectively, rather than to demonize each other by saying, unless you're poor, black, inarticulate, illiterate, uh, and living in the inner city, you're not black enough.
close your eyes. And what color are we? For you.